you're probably here because you've heard bring your phone right so don't worry about it because i'm uncle pandey from d tech channels your tech friend which will guide you in reviving your phone from the dead state to the working condition on science universe 12.1 so without any further wait let's get started So first of all let's see what are the requirements. The first requirement is obviously your dead phone and a USB cable and the file which I'll be providing the link in the description you can download it. There are two mirrors one is and from Android file host and one is from Google Drive. You can pick whichever you like or if one is down you can download it from the another one. So let's go to the PC. Now just to open this download the file from this link i'm choosing the google drive one because i think google drive provides much better speeds so open google chrome put in the link in the address bar just press enter and it will just show me the files now click on download anyway and it will show the window to download the file now it is started now it will complete in around it depends on your internet speed how much time will it take to get downloaded so i'm getting around 6 mb per second and it will complete in 3 minutes actually i have the file already so we can just go to the downloads folder where i'll file find my file so here is the file extract all the contents to anywhere you want this will just create a folder let it extract itself now wait for it to complete after it has finished extracting just go inside the folder and there you will find the drivers the firmware the flashing tool so the first step will be installing the drivers so go inside the drivers folder and run this lenovo usb driver auto run click on next 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 and let it install all the drivers after it has finished installing the see if you are having a 64 bit windows or a 32 bit windows remember that this process is for windows only so don't expect any solutions for linux or mac os So I'm having a 64 bit operating system so I will go inside the 64 bit and just click right right click it and click on install click yes and it will be installed right click on it click on install click yes and it will be completed and now click on install click yes and it will be completed now you have installed the drivers now go to the flashing tool folder now click on Q QPSD 2.7 now you'll have to install it and as i am already having QPSD so i will just click on repair because it will just reinstall over the already installed QPSD so you'll have to click on install so that you can proceed now let it install itself Now after it has installed click on close and click cancel for this because you won't be ha having this i think double clicked on two files so that there was a conflict between two after you have finished installing everything on your computer from drivers to the qpst you can now move on to the next step so switch off your phone obviously if you are having a hard drive phone it will be switched off so switch off your phone and uh, this USB cable is needed. Now, plug in the USB cable to your laptop or PC, whichever you have, and now just open QPST in here. It will be inside this QPST uh, folder, and this is QFIL, and you'll have to open this. Just click on it. Now click on Browse. Now. just go to the location for example if you have downloaded your uh, file which i have provided in this compressed folder go inside this 
and here you will find find that firmware folder go inside this and just click on double click on this now everything is selected click on load xml and click on this raw program zero and just click on patch zero now you are done there's nothing left to do just see how i do uh, and follow the steps to get your phone in the mode which is qualcomm hs 9008 port so in order to get that you'll have to press power up button and uh, hold the power up button in the switched off state and just plug in the usb cable and be sh uh, sure that you just plug in the phone and just go to your computer so i plugged it in and now you can see that here it will be detected as qualcomm hs usb now just click on download as soon as you see that and the flashing will start now now just wait till it flashes so it's running right now you can see the progress here and let it just complete We'll continue when it completes. After it has finished installing the software on the phone, you can just plug it out and then just boot it up. So you can see that the Cyanogenesis logo is showing up. So your phone is now revived and I won't recommend you to use this ROM because it's actually an exper experimental build. You can see this here. This is Cyanogen preview version. Let me focus it. Yeah, this is Cyanogen preview version. So I won't recommend you to use this ROM. You can just go to my bootloader unlock video and boot un unlock your bootloader using that method. And after that, you can just flash any uh, any ROM you like, like CM13. I also have video on that. So just go to that video and enjoy your Zoop again. Thank you for watching DTAC Terminal. Like, share and subscribe.